This year's CES 2016 coverage has been brought to you by my mom. Seriously, she paid for my whole trip. Thanks, mom. All right, so I'm at the Kingston booth checking out some things, and they've just shown me this, the Data Traveler 2000, which is an encrypted USB flash drive. And the unique thing about this is it offers hardware encryption and pin protection thanks to the small keypad. So if you're in a corporate environment and you need to lock down your information, you can set up a pin that must be entered here before you can access any data on the drive. And since the encryption is hardware based, uh, the drive is OS independent. There's no software or drivers to install. It has uh, AES 256-bit encryption. And uh, the one feature that I think will be hilarious in IT environments is if you fail to log in successfully after 10 attempts, it reformats the drive. So <laughs> uh, good luck with that IT departments, but uh, in capable hands, seems like a pretty neat device. And does anyone recognize this? This is the Seven Gamers One Rig build that uh, Linus Tech Tips did uh, just recently. It's actually at the Kingston booth, and let me tell you, this thing is legit in person. Everything is just so nicely built. Uh, this thing's got two Xeon processors, uh, 256 gigabytes of ECC RAM, uh, seven AMD Fury Nanos, uh, eight Kingston one terabyte uh, KC400 SSDs, and uh, just a bunch of other like super top of the line stuff. Even the freaking widescreen monitor, that was my first time seeing there, was just ridiculous. Everything is just, oh man, I need it in my life like ASAP. All right, so I'm over here taking a look at the HyperX stuff now, and HyperX actually has a new headset they're working on. Uh, this is the Cloud Revolver. Uh, previously, HyperX partnered with a company named QPad to develop their HyperX Cloud headsets, and now they're kind of branching off on their own and developing their own headset in-house. So they actually have two models, the Cloud Revolver, which is a stereo headset, and then the Cloud Revolver S, which is a 7.1 surround sound version. So uh, with this headset, you get a semi-open back design, so a larger sound stage than the Cloud 2s, uh, a metal frame construction, memory foam ear pads, uh, a detachable noise canceling microphone and uh, in my opinion a more comfortable headset uh, with less clamping force. Uh, I got a chance to listen to these briefly and you definitely notice the larger sound stage. Uh, I also noticed a little boost in the low end over the cloud too. So I like what I'm hearing so far but uh, I, of course I can't give a final verdict until I get these in my hands for review. But uh, be on the lookout for these cloud revolver headsets. Uh, starting price I believe is around 120. And HyperX hasn't forgotten about the console peasant, I mean console gamers, uh, more specifically Xbox One owners. They've developed this Cloud X headset, which is essentially the Cloud 2, but designed to work with the Xbox One. So as long as you have a controller like the Elite that has a 3.5 millimeter jack, you can plug this directly into your controller without any adapter, and you get uh, inline volume control and that Cloud 2 sound that you've come to expect. Uh, the Cloud X should start shipping quarter two of 2016, so Xbox One owners, be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, that's it. Until next video, see ya.